I welcome you in the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ to this 30th Sunday in ordinary time, yes, see. We thank you for subscribing to this channel, Holy God Series. Sometimes in life, we just wanted to be seen, but no change. We spend so much time trying to prove to others how vulnerable we are, how smart we are, how likable we are, and capable of doing something. But the result of this is a pretend faith rather than a genuine relationship. But when we can be honest about our situations, our struggles, our troubles, and our need of his help, knowing very well our nothingness before him, he loves us and makes us great. That is why I want us to reflect on the thing on this Sunday, God loves the real us. He loves you as you are. In the gospel reading of today, the two men went up to the temple to pray, a Pharisee and a tax collector. The tax collector, when he entered the temple, he beat up his breast and said, God be merciful to me, I am a sinner. Recognizing who truly he is, he does not make his boast in himself like the Pharisee, but he made his boast in the Lord. And that he has seen that God is great and is full of mercy, and he shared the cry of the poor and the lowly and of the sinner. Our dependency on the mercy of God, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, make us greater than what we think we are. We are justified and we are being loved. That is our greatness in the Lord. We are being justified always and we are being loved by God, despite who we are. Yes, they all came to pray and they left afterwards. The Pharisee will leave the temple as he came, full of himself. But the tax collector will leave the temple and go to his house, being justified, that is, being accounted righteous by God. When he stands before God, knowing very well who we are, sinners in constant need of his mercy, then we too, we are being justified. Then we too, we return to our homes in mercy, grace, and gratitude. My dear family of God, God is always wanting to lift us up and lead us home justified. He is always wanting have been available to lift us up and to justify us, to love us. The attitude of the task letter has shown us something about prayer. That asking for forgiveness in prayer has become a prerequisite for a righteous and true prayer. For a prayer to be pure and true before God, we need to beg for mercy. We need to beg for forgiveness. As we consider our need for mercy and grace, this will give us the strength to pray more compassionately for those who sin around us. Just take a few moments and consider this. Because circumstances change, we think we are better off than others. But we are all sinners, just that some of us have not been caught yet. It is possible that we might be the one who was caught in an adulterous relationship. It is possible that we might be the one responsible for a divorce home. It is possible that we might be the one who has stole something and many more. This reality should make us humbly grateful for mercy and grace. It should make us more compassionate rather than being boastful of ourselves. Dear family of God, the real us in us is that we are poor and humble. Before God, we stand empty-handed. That is why St. Augustine said, man is a beggar before God. Like the tax collector, we should know that the text for sanctity, the text for holiness is humility. Everywhere we find ourselves, we should not reproach others quickly. In the family, at the workplace, in the homes or in the houses, schools, we must not find fault over little things as though we ourselves were perfect. We must learn to imitate Jesus 
who is gentle and lowly. Because the psalmist says, the lowly one called and the Lord helped him. That's humility is the foundation of prayer. Humility is the foundation of prayer. Only when we humble ourselves and acknowledge that we do not know how to pray as we ought, then we are ready to receive freely the gifts of prayer. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, God loves the real us. And this is the necessary attitude for a changed life. Let us be humble for God to lift us up, justified. For God to lift us up and make us great people in this world. May you have a blissful weekend. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.